Hey guys, we are at the McMinimins Kalamo Harbor Lodge. I'm sure I mispronounced that. I bet you I did. Anyway, I'm here with my family, my mom and dad, one of my sisters, my sister Karen and my brother Mike are both in town. So we came up here to have lunch and we're gonna go do a little walking around and get a few steps in, burn off some of the lunch that we just ate. Anyway, I'm gonna go meet up with them and I'll be right back. Hey guys, <clears throat> it's Monday, February 24th. It's like 12.30 at lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Um, today is a no-go-anywhere day. I don't have any appointments. I don't have any errands. I ha have to run today. So the plan is to spend the whole day editing video and getting everything for March edited and over today and tomorrow and maybe tomorrow well, it looks like and tomorrow um, and then load it to YouTube and scheduled out hopefully by the end of the day Wednesday the way things are going it's going to take me all that time because I it's 12 30 I started at about eight o'clock this morning and I'm only on video number two <laughs> holy cow some days the editing process just takes forever. Some days it's because of poor filming quality on my part or audio. And some days the video editor just takes forever to save video, which is the case today. So what are you gonna do, right? Anyway. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, 8.49 a.m. February 25th, I think. I think. I don't even know for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know for sure. It's just been one of those days. So yesterday, I spent the entire day editing video for March. I lost track of how many exactly after 10, but I think there's like 12 or so. Anyway, March is done. It's uploading to YouTube and scheduling out as we speak. Um, I set all that to do while I was gone at physical therapy, which is where we're on the way to right now, and I'm running late. <laughs> um, because I was upstairs <laughs> setting all the video, and then I realized I forgot to do any of my weekly typing yes writing yesterday so I would did a couple of those that should have posted yesterday before I left which put me more behind and then some Etsy orders came in I only had have two of them in the car with me wrapped up and ready to go the other one's gonna have, there's one more it's gonna have big one it's gonna have to wait until I get back and go out tomorrow um, so yeah I'm already running behind <laughs> And the day's barely gotten started because it's not even 9 a.m. yet. So, you know, it's going to be one of those days, I think. So, I'm trying to be quiet. My daughter's upstairs working on a conference call. I've got the dishwasher going, the washing machine going. <laughs> My little name is not Grace. So, anyway. I'll try. I'm trying to think of what I can do that's quiet, that I need, that needs doing. And one of the things is today's face. So I'm gonna go do that. I also took some fabric that she got me for Christmas, which was what made all the noise that made her kind of say, mom, what are you doing? Um, it was this lemon print fabric. It was actually a super long table runner, which I put on my Christmas list on purpose because I knew I didn't need a table runner that long, but I could cut it up and make sort of placemats for other tables down here in the living space, which I did. Looks really good too. I like the lemon print, fun fact. All right, let's go make today's face. And I'm working on laundry. YouTube's done, Etsy's taken care of. I feel like I could take a deep breath because everything I was behind on this morning, I got done. So it's all cool. Let's go make a face and I'll be back. Good morning. Adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Um, it is Wednesday morning, February 26th, 8.40 a.m. Don't get excited. I've already checked everything. 
I am headed out to um, join the kids at a building inspection on a property they put an offer in on. Cross your fingers, it goes better than the last time. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna do that this morning. Then I'm gonna pop by the library and see if they have any more magazines I can um, get faces out of to add to my inspiration um, booklet. I am discovering that I'm doing a face a day for the whole month of February, despite the fact that the month is almost done, that I don't have enough inspiration faces in my book. So I need to add to that. I haven't added to it in a long time. So anyway, I'm gonna pop by the library, see if they have any more cheap magazines I can do that with. And then go home and maybe some of my friends are still chatting on Zoom. Maybe. We'll see. All right. I'll see you everybody. It's Thursday morning. I almost said May. Ah, February 27th, I think. I think so. Yeah. Uh, 11 a.m. If you can hear the noise in the background, um, the person, our cleaning lady who helps us out um, is here because I'm not capable anymore to be honest. Um, so she's here, Becca's in the um, other big room up here working and she's got the dog with her. Um, I already got today's face done and uh, today's word on the board where we're putting positive affirmation words. And um, got an Etsy order out in the mail already, responded to some questions and comments. Had a little interesting discussion with some of my family about the coronavirus. I'm gonna reference one particular web uh, YouTube um, channel, Dr. John Campbell. He gives you the scientific facts about the virus. He doesn't go all crazy batshit on you. He doesn't politicize it. He's just talking about the virus. Go watch his channel, I'll link it below. Anyway, um, I also fed the deer. They're outside. You have to like see them through the screen. I'll see if I can get some uh, footage from the ring camera and insert it right about here. Okay, so I made myself a new little bag. Uh, lately, I've been not wanting to carry a handbag or when I do carry something, I carry a really small bag with just the essentials. Um, a little tiny wallet, some business cards, and my asthma inhaler and my phone. That's like, yeah. So um, I had a, I'll insert some pictures here, but I was using this little brown bag and then I just decided it's just, it's brown. So I had some fabric cut out that was actually cut out. I had another project cut out and I was just not feeling it. So I cut the fabric up, I recut it, and I made this little bag that you're seeing in the picture. Love it. So I can't wait to use it. I have physical therapy tomorrow, so I'll be using it tomorrow. We're headed to the gym. Right, Fred? That's right. Yeah. And then we'll get dinner. Dinner without the kids. Well, the kids are for dinner. We love the kids, but yeah, dinner without the kids. They don't know. They're going to get sushi or something on the way home. Okay. Well, then we'll do the same. Yeah. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, February 28th, uh, 9.17 a.m. I'm on my way to physical therapy. Uh, there's not enough coffee on the planet today. Physical therapy is over with. My knee's a little sore, but it's not too bad. Um, the message I want to give you guys today after physical therapy to both groups, um, both vlogs, is when I was leaving, there were two cars on either side of me with people in them. Um, one was just arriving. One I missed. One I don't know. She was just sitting there. I'm assuming she was leaving, but she could have been arriving too. The people in the white car, two ladies, were getting out. One of them was obviously in pain, 
um, and mobility impaired. And despite that fact that they both looked like they weren't really feeling 100%, they were the sweetest, nicest, nicest, happiest ladies. They didn't know me. I didn't say anything to them. I was just walking by their car and um, we made eye contact and they said, hey, have a great day. Just out of the blue spontaneously. I said, you know what? Thank you. You have a great day too. And they said, you know, we will. Because, you know, what else are you going to do? I said, yeah, as my dad would say, any day on the right side of the dirt is a good day. And they, we all started laughing. They said, you know, that's so true. And anyway, they were so nice. And then the lady on the other side of me was so, she had such a pinchy look to her face. She looked so pissed off. She was putting on her makeup before she went wherever she was going. And she looked so annoyed. I can't even tell you. And if it's up to me, I would rather go forward in life um, at least being kind, no matter what kind of crappy mood I'm in, I don't want to inflict that on the rest of the planet. At least I try hard not to. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but, and it's called for and appropriate, but most of the time you can, and you don't need to inflict your mood on others, on strangers, no matter if you have a chronic issue or not. It's just not okay to inflict your bad mood on strangers that don't deserve it. It's just not, I don't think. Anyway, it was just such a contrast and an odd thing to happen outside of physical therapy in the parking lot. I don't know. It was interesting. Anyway, my name is ground beef. Okay, what did I do? You're like doing things out of Olive order. Oil. I like things I... in order. I had the seasoning blends. You need shallots. You're not even cut yet. You keep interrupting me with questions. Okay. Let me know when the shallots are done. Well, I got some here. I don't know how many you need. I don't think you need them all, do you? Um, it says, um, uh, seasoning blends and shallot. Oh. One shallot? Well, yeah, I'm still cutting it. I'm going to take this ready. He doesn't like to answer more than that. Look at the directions. What's the matter? She's filming. Oh, God. Have another rum and coke, Fred. I had two. There's nothing wrong with a third. You're not going anywhere. For those who want to know who's behind the camera, that's my daughter, Rebecca. Hello. Well, you know, I could have a third one. Have I said on camera five million times that the child looks obviously like me because she unlocks my telephone? Hello. <sighs> so weird. What's up? <laughs> What's up? That's so? a cool, that's a good thumbnail, Mom. Your dad like so? that. Just dad like that. <laughs> Put that for the thumbnail for the video. Yeah. So, 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 so cool. So we're making, what are we making, Fred? Cheeseburger, <laughs> Cheeseburger pizza. pizza. Cheeseburger Which pizza. Which is kind of weird, because uh, Polly said it was kind of weird when he first ate it, because he never ate it before. But he said he liked it. But he liked it. But it was weird, because again, he never ate it before. But now it's, he's had it, so it's not weird. But this time we're using garlic flatbread, so it's going to be quasi-weird for him. Well, it's... Okay, this goes into there, right? Are we making him one even though he's not here? Yes. He's going to need dinner when he comes home. Okay. 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 Oh, don't you need these, Fred? What's that? Bacon bits. <coughs> well, those are already cooked. We'll just put those in the oven. Okay. But yeah, we do. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm the sous chef. I don't know. I know nothing. She that she knows nothing. Ah. I know nothing. She is gone. Some people are not surprised by that. I gotta tell you. <laughs> okay, I'm cooking up the meat. I don't think you're supposed to have onions. It's reducing. I'll put those over here. She's like, are you sure? I think I can have onions. Mm. Okay, what else do we need to do? Okay, we need to uh, Lily. par bake the flatbreads. Place flatbreads okay. directly in the oven rack. Sit pretty. For 79 minutes. Look at first. Don't sit Seven. pretty. <coughs> Look at her 79 sitting. minutes at 400 degrees. So. She'll do anything for food. She really will. Oh, there we go. Garlic flatbread. Mm. <coughs> well, I was buying just plain naan. And then I was I looked over and went, 
Ooh, wait, roasted garlic. Yeah, who's gonna eat plain naan when you get so, like garlic naan? I mean, I like plain naan, but why would you? I mean, I like naan, garlic. Naan, 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 naan. You married him. I did. What and was I? Like, what was that like thinking? Eurovision where they're? Dude, Eurovision what is was the that best. One? What was that one yesterday where they were like doing this on that? Oh, one? that's Lithuania. <laughs> Lithuania 2020 Eurovision is a sight to see. Everyone should check it out. Oh my god. Um, they're not gonna win. <clears throat> is my prediction. But when you get your new house, we're gonna be having Eurovision nights. Yes. At your house. So if you don't Fire know what, if you don't know what Eurovision is, well, you need to go look it up. We'll put a link in the description below. We'll find a website or something and give you all a link. They have a YouTube channel. Oh, so we'll link Eurovision's YouTube yeah. channel in the description below. It's worth checking out if you're really into music and your strange game culture. shows. Yeah. It's like American Idol, but like American? European. So, you know, different. What? Different's not bad, it's just different. Yeah, exactly. It's all good. Some of the music's really good. ABBA was part of Eurovision, so, you know. Oh, I'm a big ABBA fan. Celine Dion, so Celine Dion was part of it, Exactly. Too. So, you know, every now and then they produce really good talent. Yeah, but you saw, it, you saw her in that back in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. It was before she became Americanized. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Fred has opinions. Fred's opinions aren't always um, well, YouTube look, analytic friendly, so we're gonna leave it at what that. What that means is that she does not, she did not look, she does not look like she does today. Her no appearance way. was different. Very different. Her appearance was very different. Her, the only thing I can tell, the only way I knew it was her was by her voice. Mm. Oh, why is I go, who's that? Okay. Fred's opinionated. Yeah, but we knew this. Okay, so I guess the uh, this thing's pretty much ready to go. Okay, we need to do these though. I'm just gonna put this down to real low. Well. We need to get out the oven on. Cookie sheet. drop something else. She likes food. What can I say? She acts yes, like we I'll never feed her. One. She acts like we never feed her. <laughs> it's been a week, Dad. It has been a week. <laughs> yes, adulting is hard. It really is. <laughs> Especially when your industry is being affected. Yeah, for those that don't know, Rebecca works in the travel industry. She's in marketing and advertising, right? For a nation, our worldwide, very popular high-end travel agency. The only problem with that is, I'll tell you in one word, one yeah, one word, COVID-19. So it's and of a course, it's a problem. I work in the semiconductor industry, where our biggest uh, customers that buy our equipment are in China. China. And one of our Top tier customers is in Wuhan. So, how do you think that's going? It's a fun time. You guys. It's fun. It's an interesting time. It's a good thing I still know how to coupon. <laughs> On the bright side, it's a great time to book travel. So, if you're looking to go anywhere, shameless self promo. It's a great time. I can link Becca's company's website in the description below. Yeah. Direct travel. I've actually done some uh, travel art classes for direct travel at their offices in California. Very nice company when we aren't worried about COVID-19. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, what's that thing? What's that? So if you don't have naan at your grocery store, but you probably should have it. I don't know anybody who doesn't. You could use any flatbread. You could probably even use a pita bread. drinks going. They got the bread going. Yeah, what do we need now? We have to put something on here, don't we? Oh, do we? Uh, cheese? Cheese. 
cheese, no? No, we melted the cheese second last time. Oh, no, you have to cook these for seven to nine minutes. By themselves. By themselves, okay. with nothing. Okay. With okay. nothing. Not nice. And that's something, we need to get the cheese out. We need the cheese to not be frozen or cold. It takes too long to melt. So we have, what kind do we have? We have Swiss. Ew. Swiss? On pizza. Is that what is that? That's no, cheddar. Okay. Sorry, cheddar. He said, is that Swiss? <laughs> I thought that said Swiss. <laughs> Maybe he's had too much to drink. I didn't have my glasses on. Oh, okay. Only sober so one in the house. that's what you want, right? That's Sharp what's... cheddar. <laughs> no, you want like mozzarella or something, no, right? This kind. No, this kind. This is what goes on there. Okay. Is that what goes on there? Yes. What does the recipe say? Oh, yeah. Well, it says mozzarella. <laughs> but last time we put cheddar and we put, did we put cheddar and Mexican cheese? Because we didn't have mozzarella then either. Possibly. What other feel... shredded cheese is in there? Any? No. Look, uh, well, there's... not in there. We have to look down here. Yeah, I gotta break up some cheese. Okay, so I not only have our supply hoard, I kind of have a cheese hoard. It's a real thing. It's, it's a thing. No, more cheddar. We don't need that one. We do have Italian blend. We can use this one. No, that's too much cheese. Don't mess with my cheese one. Okay, it's frozen like a rock roll. <laughs> I did this once at the old house and the cheese bag exploded all over the kitchen. It was funny. I've heard of beating your meat but not beating your cheese. Oh boy, YouTube analytics are gonna love that. No, this is not child friendly channel, just FYI. I don't think beating cheese that hard is child friendly. <laughs> right? I don't think so either. Yeah. Beat your cheese. I'm sure my friend Vicky is watching. She's a retired chef going, What are you doing? Because I'm cheese. doing it wrong, whatever I'm doing. We probably shouldn't be freezing and whacking your cheese, so... <laughs> Beating your frozen cheese. Hard, hard lump in the bottom. But if you freeze it, it lasts a long time. Okay. And does it get hairy before you <laughs> use it up? She's beating her hard lump. Yeah. That's what she said. Oh, almighty. That's what she said. Get a hard lump here. <laughs> Have another drink, Fred. Maybe it's a tuma. <laughs> it's not a tuma. So is this what marriage is like? <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Aren't they funny? That's funny. <laughs> what am I, a clown? What makes me so funny? Funny? Funny how? Do I really have to answer that? What do you mean I'm funny? I take the fifth. You plead with us. Yeah, whatever. You plead with us. I do, yeah. That was very, that was taken from a movie, oh, which yet. wasn't very good. Well, I mean, it was a great movie, but my interpretation of it was poor. Yeah, you mean the good. accent? Thanks, Dad. Well, no, just the, am I a clown? What makes me so funny? Oh, yeah. That was a clip from. Oh Lord, is this like the music questions? No, I'm not going to know uh... the answer. I never know what song it is. I never know what movie you were referring to. It's just a thing. So Joe Pesci it wasn't Casino, I don't think. Ma'am, I can see the movie. I can just see it. They're in the bar. They're all laughing. And he goes, hey, why are you All laughing? the subscribers are like, Bob, it's this one. Mm -hmm. Or comment Fred, sorry. Below. Fred, it's this one. Yeah, comment yep. down below. You all comment probably know what it below. is. We have no idea. For years, he tests me. Come on, honey, you know what this song is? I know you, you know what this is on playing on the radio. I have no idea. I guess I've heard the lyrics. I'm good, bad about names of songs and stuff. Never been good at that. You know, Polyus does the same thing to me. Oh, really? Yeah, well, his dad did it to me as a yeah, kid, and right. now Polyus does it to me. Wow. 
So when you're yeah. driving, a song comes on, he says, well, who did that? Mm -hmm. Whose song is that? Well, like, yeah, or like, or, with Eurovision. He's like, oh, you God. know who sings this. God, you're... Oh, God. I, I, I don't want to know who does that. I'm trying to block that out <laughs> yeah. of my mind. Yeah. It's not that I couldn't figure it out. I just want to listen to the music and enjoy the music. I don't care who sings it. As long as I like listening to it, it doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> Unless you're a creep. Then I take you off all my channels. There's been a few of those, like R. Kelly. But just too bad. He had a couple of really great songs, but yeah, he's not a nice guy. R. Kelly. Waiting for the stove to heat up. I have 14 minutes of priceless video that I can't wait to use a sabotage one day. <laughs> This is good. You should watch some of the other Cooking with Fred episodes. They're all nuts. This is great. I'm entertained. <laughs> I thought the, fun, the one where I got your grandparents on camera was really fun. And Grandpa's pretending uh, he can't hear Grandma. It was good fellas. That's what it was. It was good fellas. Comment below, good fellas. I got it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Seven. It was good fellas. Am I a clown? What makes me so funny? Why am I so funny? What makes me so funny? Drinks. <laughs> Drinks make you funny? Drinks make me funny. God. Hmm. Do you need your glasses? No. Okay. Because basically, hmm. once everything comes out, once the... Um, flatbread comes out of the oven, we're ready to assemble. Ooh. Well, you put the cheese on, then you melt the cheese, then you put everything else on. It's part of the assembly. Yeah. Some frozen lump right, cheese. Pooch? Frozen cheese lumps. enough cheese. Do we have enough cheese? Are you sure? I'm sure. Good thing we're not uh, lactose intolerant around here. We'd be in big trouble. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so good. All right, so for those who want to know, this is an easy recipe. It's from the people over at Home Chef. Not sponsored. Um, I can put a link to the recipe down below and you can get a meal kit from the, them where they include all the ingredients. So... Home Chef. They, they're not sponsoring, but if they want to, we're available. We're not proud. We'll take money. We'll take money. I'm not proud. Donations are accepted. Yeah, yeah, always. Did we already put this in? No. I did. I sprinkled some in there. Oh. You can put that away. I didn't see that happen. Do you want so. extra? No, it's okay. okay. No, it's sprinkled in there. It's I, mixed. Just, I didn't see you do that, so. It's probably on the video. Sure. Maybe. Maybe. I, you know, I kind of snuck that in. Mm, okay. Without anybody Between looking. drinks. Excuse me. Clearly. So we got cheese, we got pickles, and we got um, tomatoes, tomatoes lettuce. and lettuce and some Thousand Island. Thousand Island dressing, which I really don't like, except on this recipe. It's the only thing I'll eat it on because it's not my favorite thing. I'm gonna get some mustard. I'm gonna put some mustard on it. You did that last time too. I did. It was just a drizzle of mustard on top, and it's gotta be the French yellow mustard. Yellow. Plain yellow American mustard. Ooh. Done. How many people know what food thing Fred has a collection of? Leave it in the comments below. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Bet Rebecca knows. It's not a collection of drinks or alcohols. Nope. Condiments. He likes condiments. <laughs> he must have, what, how many, Becca, do you think? Ten bottles of mustard? Well, you guys also have at least, like, 
seven bottles of like dressings. Right, and there's a I don't even know how oh, many hot you... I don't know how many hot sauces because I've lost track. I probably got three or four hot sauces. I got four. I got seven or eight barbecue sauces, and of course, you know, with dressing, you know. You may want ranch. You may want blue cheese. You may want a so thousand islands. If you, you want, want to Italian, send Fred happy you may mail. want Caesars. If you want to send Fred happy mail, that happy mail address is in the description below. He likes condiments. Maybe you have one that's local to where you live that you would like to send him to try. He likes condiments. Ooh, we can get him to do a condiment taste test. Yeah. There, there you the go. Followers, if there we you get go. enough. Yeah. Happy you know, with mail. mustard, yeah. with mustard, it depends on what you're eating. Whether you're having yeah. a hot dog. Versus sausage, versus a kielbasa, versus a versus even a hot um, a hamburger, a cheeseburger. Yeah. You know, there's all types of things. So you gotta have your, you gotta have your yellow mustard. You gotta have your French's mu. You gotta have French's. You gotta have your Goldens. You gotta have your spicy brown. You gotta have your honey Dijon mustard. You gotta have all these different types. If he ever goes into another another industry besides technology, none of you should be surprised if it's working for a company that makes condiments. Because it wouldn't surprise me. That or alcohol. <coughs> wouldn't surprise me. God, you make me sound like I'm, not, I'm an alcoholic. No, no. I just mean that you would enjoy working for like a winery. Yeah, absolutely. See? Oh, Dad and I are going to go to business together if he yes. gets a winery job. See? <laughs> but he'd also love to like work a tasting room at a condiment company. I think he would love that. He'd be able to tell you all the different reasons why you should have this condiment versus that condiment. Like, mm -hmm. he would love that. Yep. Analyzing the crap out of something and have it be food or drink related, it's right up his alley. Right? I'll try it. See? Me? I'd rather not analyze anything. You want the condiment to complement the, the meat. Just give me the freaking mustard. You want it to complement it. You, want it. you don't want it to overpower it or to... You know, be too strong where you just taste the mustard and not the meat. Mm. You want it to complement, saying don't put it's so a great much combination. You don't need to drown my hot dog in mustard. And it's just perfect. You're crazy, Fred. Alright, let me get the... You want it kind of towards the edge, you know, you don't want to just kind of plop in the middle, you want to spread it out. Spread out, see? You want to spread it out. I think this little soldier needs some more cheese over here. Yeah, well, come on. Don't be stingy on the cheese. Why would I be stingy on the cheese? We like cheese. Exactly. This guy needs this old, This one needs some more cheese. You hear her down there whining? I want cheese. You want cheese? She loves cheese. Yeah. You, go. you think we never feed her? I'm just starving. Poor to thing. Death. Oh my god. Poor baby. Poor abused animal. I'm Poor. kidding, people. Yeah, don't, you can't say things like that on the internet, mom. I know, right? We're it's joking. Slam, take a joke. Take, take a joke. She has plenty of food, I promise you. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, not, got, she's not starving. She's you would more, never know that, but she's not she starving. She never is not starving. She no. is never starving. Okay, is that enough cheese? Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> Just see this head pop up. Look at that tail. Like, You're so happy. Oh, I'm not gonna touch food. you. I'm not gonna touch you. I'm, eat, I'm touching food. People food that I'm not supposed to have. Okay, so we put this back in the oven for a couple more. You minutes. wanted to put. No, I gotta put the meat on first. Yes. Duh. What the heck? Come on, dear. Get with it. Me? Really? Exactly. See that? She agrees. And use this you know, to like kind of move shit around. Some days, move stuff around. Yeah, you can't cuss on the internet either, Dad. Well, my channel's adult channel. Mm. I mean, I prefer to keep the cussing to a minimum, but I've been known to say shit or damn every now and then. And not edit it out. Oh, okay. Don't be chintzy over here, man. Don't be chintzy. You trying to leave bacon in there, Dad? Yeah, there's, I can see There's some it. bacon. Okay. Some? What, you want me to put a whole bag of bacon in there? <laughs> just enough to compliment. We're not vegetarians around here. Remember, so. it's just a compliment. Not that there's anything wrong with our vegetarian and vegan friends, and you probably could make this with your favorite meat substitute. I, in fact, I think one of those, uh, what is that one? Is like Beyond Beef. Beyond Beef. Beyond yeah. Beef this would, would be, be great. This would be really good with Beyond Beef. Yeah. 
And Beyond Bacon. Beyond, I don't think they make it Beyond Bacon. Well, they should. Do you need some more over here? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Uh, sure. I don't make Beyond Bacon. They I like don't that. make, I don't think they I make like the, Beyond Bacon. I like the term. I could be wrong. Somebody leave something in the comments below. Y'all are going to be busy commenting. We should, uh, I should check this. Oh, this is, it's, that's, that's a burger. It's big, that's a lot of meat. That's a BFB. <laughs> big freaking burger. Can you get that? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me move these around here because you want to get it to the edge. You ruined my shot, Dad. What do you mean I ruined your shot? I was doing a cool shot. You went to the edge. Doing this cool filming thing because, you know, she's a photographer. And all you don't want stuff. lumps in the middle. Her other side job. I always forget how much I love being behind the camera until I do something right? like this or... If you want to be behind the camera for me, you are welcome anytime because <laughs> I get really tired of setting up the zoom and trying to make sure my head's not in the shot. And the, the subscribers could tell you that because I frequently have... No way to edit my head out of the shot. Well, I'm currently, like, I'm currently living with you, so you just need to ask me. Yeah, except then you're always working your day job when I'm filming. So. Oh, God forbid I'd work a 9 to 5. I know, right? God forbid 9 to 5. I wish I worked 9 to 5. Sorry. <laughs> Same. Me too. Okay, look at that. But you're just strewing meat everywhere. I'm not strewing. I don't strew. It's right there. I'm not strewing, dear. Uh-huh. Okay, we got to get him back in the oven. For two more minutes, right? Yeah, two to three minutes. So we Shush. we toasted it with the yeah. meat and cheese on, and then we put the uh, pickles and pickles. the tomatoes and lettuce on top. Yep. And now the condiment king is going to put the condiments on. I seriously think condiment king T-shirts. We should have merch that says condiment king. With a little crown. I know, right? Like <gasps> we need to have condiment king. I already have a merch store. You do. Condiment King In the shirts. comments section, Who's up go for that? click on her link to her. We'll store. work on. No, we'll no, no. Like, who would be interested in ordering something? Would you that be interested said in it? Condiment if, King. Yeah. Or Queen. You or know. Queen. You know, gender is. Because, hello, I don't really like labels, but if you're gonna wear one, we should be all inclusive. Okay. Should I, should I drizzle some on top? Some yeah. of this. Okay. And you know, you can get condiment, well, you'll be able to get condiment queen in a men's shirt if that's what you want. I'm good with that. God. I don't care. Just do unisex shirts. That'll yeah, make yeah. it easy. Do they make those? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, there's one. Unisex shirts are men's shirts. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. For real, so that's That doesn't make sense, Becca. It really doesn't. That's plenty. There's two. Okay. You've clearly never been in a sorority. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> Thank God. Maybe, uh, no, never mind. Okay, there's three. Oh, come on, can I get a little more sauce the on Only time he was ever in a I can give you... in college, he was probably drunk and trying to get with some Hey, did you want um, some barbecue sauce on it? No, okay. I'm not my fiance. Okay. I don't need barbecue sauce on everything I eat. <laughs> you mean, yeah, like Polly and mm -hmm. your dad? Mm -hmm. They need extra I'm not condiments. Gonna have, I'm not putting barbecue sauce on this. I'll try mustard. That's what you're advertising. That's plenty. Stop okay, with there the you sauce. go. Holy oh, cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we have these. Yeah, yeah, put that away. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're going to drizzle mustard. Because you always have mustard on your burgers, don't you? Right. You're doing it on all of them? Why not? Okay. We all like Why mustard. Why not? I'll try it. There you go. Cheeseburger pizza. Cheeseburger pizza, done. Hey guys, it is Saturday, February 29th, 12, 11 p.m., something like that, around lunchtime. Happy Leap Day. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my husband's at the gym. The kids are back from the gym. I chose to stay home. We'll go walking later, though, after lunch. I got today's face done. And so the whole board is finished. So it's just drying now. And as soon as it's dry, we will have um, 
I will have, we will have, I'll have my daughter get some pictures of it, hopefully. And um, we'll see if we can get a one good enough shot to get some prints made, because that's a really big piece of artwork. Um, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about myself and my supplies and yeah, I like it. I like the way it turned out. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. Um, if you want to see video on how I painted each face, there is video for supporters of the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. Um, and you can get access to the video by becoming a patron over in Patreon or joining YouTube membership. So um, but none of them are expensive. I think one is a dollar a month, one is two dollars a month, whatever is more convenient for you and you feel more comfortable. Um, and if you wanna see the video, that's where it's at. Um, I haven't spent sped up an ear a lot of the video, so most of the videos are fairly long um, and in real time. Um, and usually they are five to seven faces in one video. So just so you know. So yeah, well, I did take some video. We'll be sharing that on social media later. And uh, this, I forgot how much I like the people reference. I used it on every single face. Um, I'm not looking to copy the faces, but I'm looking to use the photos in here for reference to for shadow and light and shape. And yeah, if you haven't started one of these with pictures from you know, magazines or and or family members. I've got some family members in here. You know. Yeah. Start one. It's a good thing. All right. Um, I think that's it for right now. I've already had lunch. I had a Christmas card come back. <laughs> that's right, a Christmas card. I sent to my friend Mike Deacon across the pond. It took until now. Literally, it came in yesterday's mail to come back. So I sent it, I guess, to the wrong address. So I'm going to uh, readdress that, probably throw a few extra things in and then send it back. Just because that's funny. And I think that's it. I, I get to put the tripod away now, which is good. And uh, I have the corner set up. Uh, after that's dry, I'm going to, where is it? There's a paint, whoops painting right there, leaning up against the wall, that I'm gonna continue working on. I wasn't exactly sure. Yeah, I wasn't exactly sure what that was gonna be, but I think I know now. So I'm gonna get that set up, and uh, we need to go to the grocery store and stock up on a few things. And uh, my knee kinda hurts. The contractor was by today. We gotta have some work done. I, you know, it's Saturday. Busy, busy, busy. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Anyway, it is Saturday afternoon and um, <laughs> despite the fact that it's been rainy this afternoon, we're gonna go out for a walk. I'm really tired. I didn't sleep very well last night and all that stuff, but I, re I really need to get some exercise. So we're gonna go head out for a walk. Of course, obviously we're taking Lily with us. And uh, you know, as far as I know, I'm not the Wicked Witch, so if I do get wet, I won't melt, but you know, we'll find out. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. So we're out walking, uh, trying to get some fresh air, stay busy. We have our first case official case in Oregon of COVID-19 and yeah it's got me stressed out a little bit it's in my county so there's nothing there's nothing I can do about it I'm gonna just try to stay healthy keep my family healthy be prepared that's all you can do I didn't go to the gym this morning because I was too wigged out about it but it's all good I'm doing art and keeping busy, it helps. Getting fresh air, keeping myself healthy, controlling what I can and letting go of what I can't, which sometimes is easier said than done, but it does help. I've got my husband to remind me, <laughs> which he does often. Anyway, that's it for today and this week. I'm gonna go enjoy my walk and I hope you've all had a great week. If you want to support the free content over here on YouTube, 
or over in any of the Facebook groups. You can do that by checking out the video description. It's really loud. There's loads of way in, ways in the video description. There's also happy mail addresses down there and all that stuff. So check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.